Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this 27th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Beautiful readings today from our Mass, our second reading from a uh, letter uh, from St. Paul talks about uh, some of the gifts that we've been given, gift of uh, power, gift of love, and the gift of self-control. And uh, these are very important gifts, but we have to realize how best to use these gifts. Gift of power shouldn't be used to uh, lord over others, uh, any prowess that we might feel we have, but uh, power from the Holy Spirit is specifically uh, given to us so that we have the power to face temptation and overcome the temptation to sin through the power of the Holy Spirit given to us uh, that that temptation to sin uh, should be uh, something we can overcome because we've been given this beautiful uh, gift of power from our Lord gift of love now uh, Father Juan was talking uh, this morning and last night uh, at mass about uh, you know love can be looked at in a lot of different ways but the more important way to look at love is to look at the crucifix to look at Jesus on the cross this is what love is all about giving yourself for someone else it's not supposed to meant, be meant it's like an infatuation where you're trying to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend and, and uh, you, know, you, you, uh, you exercise uh, uh, all of your uh, uh, skills in courting and wooing someone in hopes that uh, you will gain their affection. Uh, as beautiful as that is, it's not really the essence of what love truly is. Love is self-sacrifice. Love is self-giving. Uh, Jesus demonstrated love the best by dying for our sins on the cross. That's, that self-sacrificing gift of love uh, where he just gave all of himself to, to, for the sake of our, our salvation. And then the, the third one that we were talking about was uh, self-control. And, uh, you know, this is that overcoming temptation, being able to use the power of the Holy Spirit, exercising self-control, and making good, proper choices in our lives. Uh, our first reading from Habakkuk, the uh, Old Testament book that uh, reminds us that uh, patience is also a gift from the Holy Spirit that we have to exercise and use properly. Uh, we we always think, you know when God when you know we want it now. You know we we pray for patience. You know Lord give me patience and, and give it to me right now. Uh, the uh, the the fact that we we think that everything is late when it really isn't late. It's in God's time. We have to understand God's will. God's wisdom, God's knowledge, his being in charge and understanding what we need when we need it in his time. Not when we want it or when we feel that, you know, it's necessary, but trusting, trusting that God understands what's best for us and delivers us from whatever evil that might be there uh, in his time, understanding that his will and his time far outweigh our own thoughts and our own desires. So when we, uh, when we need patience the most, you know, this is when we're tested, tested by God uh, to, uh, you know, our patience will be tested uh, every day. Every day God tests our patience. So we pray for the, the strength and conviction to understand, you know, the, and to also we pray for, that we have the trust in God, knowing that he, he knows best and he will tend to our needs uh, in, in our best interest 
uh, whenever whenever that happened to be, uh, knowing that he knows better than we do uh, when it comes to what we need. Uh, and then our gospel today, we're reminded that when we do all that we're supposed to do, that's all well and good, but we're called to even do more. You know, if we just do what's required of us, I mean, big whoop. <laughs> yeah, you did, you did what was right. You did what was good. You did what was required of you. Well, tighten up those bootstraps and let's do some more. Above and beyond. Jesus tells us in, in Scripture, too, in another part of Scripture, that you know, if someone asks you to, uh, to walk with them a mile, go too. You know, if someone asks for your tunic, give them your coat too. <coughs> Doing more than what's expected of you is what the bottom line message in the gospel today is, that we, we can't be complacent in thinking that, oh, I'm fine, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And uh, that's all I need to do. Well, think again, because we're, con we're expected to go above and beyond, to do everything that we possibly can to help bring other souls and our own soul into everlasting glory. So as we pray our evening prayer, let us uh, understand God's will and not ours. Let us pray for the strength to be, uh, to, to exercise self-control, the power over sin that we have, to learn how to love in the proper way as sacrificial love, and that uh, we do more than what's expected of us or you know, more than, than what's required. Just do, just continue, continue to, to do everything you can uh, for in every situation, never being complacent, thinking, oh, that's good enough. That's good enough. I, I'm fine. I did good enough. Well, let's do better than good enough, shall we? Let's pray. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord said to my master, sit at my right hand. Alleluia. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn, I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in your fellowship, in the fellowship of all your saints, in our heavenly homeland. The Lord said to my master, sit at my right hand, alleluia. Our compassionate Lord has left us a memorial of his wonderful work, alleluia. I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just in their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who love them. Majestic and glorious his work, his justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. He gives food to those who fear him, keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his might to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. 
His works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure, standing firm forever and ever. They are made in uprightness and truth. He has sent deliverance to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy his name to be feared. To fear the Lord is the first stage of wisdom. All who do so prove themselves wise. His praise shall last forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Merciful and gentle Lord, you are the crowning glory of all the saints. Give us, your children, the gift of obedience, which is the beginning of wisdom, so that we may do what you command and be filled with your mercy. Our compassionate Lord has left us a memorial of his wonderful work. Alleluia. All power is yours, Lord, God our mighty King. Alleluia. Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. The Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. All power is yours, Lord God, our mighty King. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, he who in his great mercy gave us new birth, a birth unto hope which draws its life from the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, a birth to an imperishable inheritance, incapable of fading or defilement, which is kept in heaven for you who are guarded with God's power through faith, a birth to to a salvation which stands ready to be revealed in the last days. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. Eternal ages praise the greatness of your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. Tell yourselves, we are useless servants, for we did only what we should have done. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Tell yourselves, we are useless servants, for we did only what we should have done. The world was created by the word of God, recreated by his redemption, and it is continually renewed by his love. Rejoicing in him we call out, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. We give thanks to God whose power is revealed in nature and whose providence is revealed in history. Renew the wonders of your love, Lord. Through your Son, the herald of reconciliation, the vicar of the cross. Free us from empty fear and hopelessness. Renew the wonders of your love, Lord. May all those who love and pursue justice work together without deceit to build a world of true peace. 
Renew the wonders of your love, Lord. Be with the oppressed, free the captives, console the sorrowing, feed the hungry, strengthen the weak. In all people, reveal the victory of your cross. Renew the wonders of your love, Lord. After your son's death and burial, you raised him up again in glory. Grant that the faithful departed may live with him. Renew the wonders of your love, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, your love for us surpasses all our hopes and desires. Forgive our failings, keep us in your peace, and lead us in the way of salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great, peaceful, restful Sunday night, and we'll face Monday together tomorrow. We'll see you then. God bless.